Hello everyone, this is Pat from PSA Custom Creations and we're back talking about carbon dioxide tanks and fire extinguishers. These are some of the same cylinders which I had in the previous video. Uh, you'll see the number one, two, four, and five, and then I've got two other cylinders off to the side. What I've actually done is I've taken some of those same cylinders and I made a super secret cut in the side of the cylinder. And you'll see how that changes the sound quite a bit from the same cylinders that you saw in the previous video. These other two cylinders are a little bit smaller version of carbon dioxide fire extinguishers. And I'm going to demonstrate again a solid side versus sides with cuts in it. In this instance I'm going to use, I have my steel plate with 100 mile an hour tape and I also have a wooden disc. This is the same one from the previous video, bell number one. Bell 2 from the previous video, but this one has my cuts in it. Bell 4, which is solid. Bell 5, which now has the cuts in it. You can see just putting the cuts in there changes the sound dramatically. On these other two cylinders, this one has a cuts in it. Versus no cuts. The cuts allow the cuts allow the sound to be much lower or deeper sound. Back to bell one solid. Bell two with cuts. That was kind of a decent hit to it. Bell four, solid. Bell five with cuts. This rusty one which has cuts in it. And this last one which is solid. As you can tell, I'm using my disc of wood on, this, on these for this particular time, but now you can see how just making something as simple as a cut can ch change the sound dramatically on the same exact cylinders you saw from the previous video. Thank you.